Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's session, I am giving you some important tips and also share with you some simple strategy about how to prepare for exam and how to write exam paper for scoring a good marks. Let's start the session. Now, I think uh, you all are aware about some uh, details of NSEM exam that uh, your paper is for 70 marks. The time duration is 2 hours 30 minutes. Some university have unit 3, 4, 5, 6 for NSEM exam and some universities have complete like unit 1 to 6 for NSEM exam. So you have to prepare as per your university structure. So basically each unit carries 16 to 70 marks. There are th theory and numerical questions are included in NSEM exam. No MCQs are there. There are total 8 questions and also sub questions are there. In NSEM exam, generally 6, 7, 8, 9 marks questions are there as per the syllabus pattern or as per the paper pattern of university. Now what is passing criteria? In engineering, you have 30 marks in same exam and 70 marks in same exam. Means total 100 marks per subject. Suppose in NSEM exam you got 0 marks. So NSEM exam you required minimum 40 marks because 100 out of 40 marks is compulsory. This is a passing criteria. Suppose in NSEM exam you got 18 marks. So at that time 28 marks is compulsory out of 70. This is another passing criteria. 28 marks is compulsory out of 70. Means your total score is 46. And another case is suppose in NSEM exam you got 30 out of 30 marks. Still you need 28 marks out of 70 in NSEM exam. Means your score is 58. So basically there are total 2 passing criteria. 40 out of 100 and 28 out of 70. So you should prepare according to this. Now before of NSEM exam you must require some necessary study material. Some collect and gather your study material according to your subject. So first you required proper complete latest syllabus some previous year question papers and all the question banks that are provided by your faculty. Then books, there are some local author books like Technio, Technology Publications and uh, there are some reference book that books have mentioned in your syllabus. And also some notes are there that notes provided by your teachers, your class notes or uh, also some notes are available on the internet and also YouTube videos. You can watch as per your subject, as per your topic, different YouTube videos on different channel and make your own playlist. So these all things are necessary before starting your study. Now the important thing is how to prepare for exam. As we know, preparation is a key of success, right? So to plan, prepare and perform. These three are the compulsory P criteria for scoring a good marks. So I am suggesting you First, review your complete syllabus. After that, download and refer previous year maximum 5 question papers, 5 years of question paper and also the question bank that have provided your faculty. So these two are the most important step. After that, make a list of all the important points and also repeated question sets as per the previous year question paper. So after making list of all the important points, you have to refer local author book or reference book, then a class notes and also watch videos as per the points. So you should select this all options as per your understanding. So the most important thing is to understand the concept of all the important points and repeated question sets. After understand, I am suggesting you, you should make your own self notes in your own language and highlight all the important words. If you make your own notes, so it's easy to understand a particular topic and it will be easy to recall while solving your NSEM paper. Next thing is some subjects, they include various diagrams, right? So prepare each and every diagrams because diagrams give you a accurate and almost a particular points. So prepare all the diagrams according to their labels and components. Also practice all the numericals and examples of each type. That's why download all the previous year question paper, solve all the numerical questions 
suppose the questions mentioned in discrete mathematics subject your mathematics subject then data structure they also have a tree graph stack related numericals expressions evaluations are there right so practice all these uh, examples numericals and uh, also practice each type of questions right and next one is in data structure exam you have to practice all the pseudo code so prepare all the pseudo code that have mentioned in previous year question papers prepare pseudo code and small algorithm accordingly so these are the preparation steps you have to do the study smartly right next now uh, this is a some decision matrix to do the smart study always find out urgent and important topics in your syllabus in your subject right so focus only on urgent and important topics and do it now right now there are some topics which is important but not uh, urgent right so give the priority to each and every subject unit and all the important topics so all the important and not urgent topics give a particular schedule particular time right so focus on first do it now important and urgent now give the second priority to all the important but not urgent right so in this way you can divide your topics now there are some topics are not important and not urgent right because in your uh, paper almost 70 to 80 percent are repeated questions just uh, expressions values are different but there are some 20 to 25 questions are new so these are included sometimes in not important not urgent topics are there right so you have to prepare all these topics just uh, give the some particular study reference and also prepare the theory about it right so prepare according to this now the most important thing is how to write answers in exam paper for scoring a good marks see the first and important thing is read all the given instructions and questions accurately in your end same exam paper after that check how many marks are available some question paper pattern as for 8 to 9 marks are there some questions are for like divided into the 6 5 8 in this way right so check how many marks are available and plan accordingly there are some lengthy theoretical papers are there or there are some subject they have lots of numericals examples like in data structure there are uh, step wise examples are there so you have to prepare or plan accordingly right next thing is choose always easiest question first in your end sem exam paper there are options question number 1 or question number 2 so choose easiest question first that have you have feel confidence about your end sem exam you you feel confident about your paper right next thing is no need to write the question you can directly start with the answer but always give a correct question number like question number 1a question number 1b in this way right next thing is write what is asked in the question no need to write what you know about it right so what is exactly asked in like explain types advantage application so write what is asked in question next thing is you you can write the particular answer in your own language as per your understanding no need to write the language that mention in book or all the internet right so mention in your own language as per your understanding in technical terms right now the next thing is you have to write the particular answers in organized format because if you write the answers in organized format you will definitely score a good marks see first always mention the heading and sub heading according to your question mention proper heading like definition explanation then uh, types like advantage disadvantage algorithm pseudo code application example so always give a proper heading right next one is don't write bulky paragraph paragraph always less your marks so always write down the answers in proper bullets or numbering methods don't write paragraph next thing is underline all the important words highlight all the important words in your paper you can highlight with your pencil or pen right so underline this is a most important point if you underline or highlight all the important words in your paper so definitely it will give you good marks next thing is suppose in your uh, paper there are diagrams so draw diagrams by using pencil 
and give accordingly proper label, proper naming to each and every components and also give the diagram name. Next thing is there are some examples they require the proper steps, right? For example, in DS, there are Prim's algorithm, Kruskal algorithm, Sadhya, graph examples, Sadhya. So solve all the examples step wise, like step one, step two, step three in this way. So for that purpose, you require the practice. Practice is most important while solving the example. If you have a good practice, then only you can solve the examples in minimum time, right? So schedule accordingly. Next thing is while writing the pseudocode in DS, you need to write a proper aim of that particular pseudocode and also write down some assumptions, some assuming value in your pseudocode. And the important thing is don't skip any question. Write whatever the relevant theory about the particular question. Don't skip any question. Attempt as per your uh, exam pattern. Right? Next. Now, uh, there are some cases which types of questions are uh, generally asked in exam. Suppose the first case is the question is like define and explain. So define means definition. So always mention definition in paragraph format, right? But explanation always write in bullets format. Give the proper bullets like dot dot or numbers. So first give the heading definition, their topic name and write down the definition. Then explanation. So always mention explanation in bullets format. Always highlight important words in uh, the particular underlines are there and write the explanation in your own language by using technical terms. Now, suppose your question is like explain with neat diagram. So first diagram is necessary. Diagram having the most marks in this question. So this is just an example. Draw the diagram accordingly. Give the proper labels, proper names according to your diagram. And also next is explanation. So also in explanation, write down all the explanation in bullets format, highlight the words in your own language. So you need to find out that how many marks are there. Suppose this is five mark question. So write the theory accordingly. Suppose this is an eight to nine marks question. So write down the theory accordingly, right? So this is depend on how many marks are there. Suppose the next question is discuss with application. So discuss and explanation is almost the same thing. So you need to write discussion in proper bullets format and write down their applications like one, two, three gives proper names. And suppose they have asked about types. So give the heading, for example, types of Q data structure like type one, type two in this way. So you need to solve the question paper smartly. Now, the next case is suppose your question is difference between. So always mention difference in tabular format. This is the first thing. Okay. Now write down all the maximum and logical difference according the marks. Suppose this question is for five marks. So you need to write down maximum five differences in this way. Right. And also highlight all the important words by using underline. So don't write anything in difference like this is slow. This is fast. So write according the point, according the sentence properly. Because difference question give you a full marks, right? Next. Suppose the next question is what is? Explain and mention advantage and disadvantage. So what is? This question means you need to no uh, you know, no need to explain in detail. You just write down in short language, in short note. That is what is. Explain means you have to explain in detail and write down, give the proper heading, advantage, disadvantage, like one, two, three points. In this way. Now, the second question is like write a program or write a pseudocode. Suppose in pseudocode means just logic of that program. Suppose in your exam they have asked the pseudocode of NQ insertion operation in linear Q. So first write down the problem statement of pseudocode that is insertion in a circular Q. Then write some short theory about the particular topic because the question generally asked for eight to nine marks and write down the pseudocode in this way. This is just a given example, right? Like void NQ and the logic of that particular operation. So write down all the program in sequence. In some subject like OOP subject, they have asked about write a program 
write a java program so you have to mention a complete program from header files to end right but in pseudocode you have to write down only logic so you have to decide all these things according the mark of that particular question now the suppose the next question is write an algorithm with example so in data structure subject algorithm means some steps right so always write down the algorithm step wise like step 1 step 2 step 3 in this way step 1 always is a start and last step is stop so in between that you have to write down the logic so with example means you have to solve a particular example or write down the example step wise now the next case is suppose the question is enlist and explain. So enlist means you have to just list down. For example, enlist types of queue data structure. So list down is like circular queue, priority queue. Just you have to list down here. So this is the enlist. And explain again, you have to give the proper and detailed explanation in bullets format and highlight the important words. Now, the next and last case is construct. This question generally asked in data structure paper to uh, construct AVL tree or uh, to construct binary tree. So at that time, you have to explain this question in proper stepwise manner. So this is all about. Thank you. Keep learning.